Hi, my name is Gareth Spence. I'm joined now by Advert Optical Networking's Michael Ritter to discuss some of the hot topics in network automation. Michael, thanks for joining me today. Hi, Gareth. How are you doing today? I'm good. It's good to see you. Network automation is a topic that's been reverberating around the industry for a number of years now. What are some of the hot topics that people are discussing here? So when it comes to transport networking, then network automation is something which is becoming a much more critical thing than it used to be in the past. Transport networks have been used fairly static, pipes, point to point, but this is changing now. We talk about mesh networks, we talk about flexibility, we talk about more dynamics in the networks. So it's a completely new era where network automation is a key component for managing these networks. Presumably with network automation comes more complexity, but also more versatility. What are some of the issues here? So in order to get this uh, versatility, we introduced new components like RODEMs, which are colorless, directionless, contentionless, so very powerful devices in the network. We have uh, lots of wars, other things in, the, in there to make these networks run. And if you need to configure them manually, this is quite some burden, which means you have to have a tool, you have to have some automation in there to move to a more service management centric mode of operation in the network where you just initiate a connection by clicking the endpoints, asking to build it up, and then everything, every intermediate node in the middle gets configured automatically. So that's a key piece of network automation for transport. What are some of the key benefits of this automated infrastructure? So one obvious benefit, of course, is uh, lower operational costs. But there's also uh, more safety in operating your network because there's uh, less risk for misconfigurations in there. It goes faster, it saves money it's more flexible. You can react to lots of uh, things much more faster than you could before. From what I understand, network automation really is, uh, depends upon two halves. One side is the hardware and the other side is the mm -hmm. software. What is Adver doing in this space? So hardware, yes, it's the key components to get this flexibility. On the software side, there's a very important component which is called control plane. And we are using our control plane for several purposes. So it's for more network internal purposes like uh, service routing, like uh, management of inventory and other things. But we're also using it to communicate with upper network layers, like the IPMPLS layer, to initiate connections which are requested by this layer, so the, the demand is originating from the upper layers, signaled via, uh, via the control plane to our products, and then simply established on demand. Okay. Which sectors of the industry are currently using this technology? So it's different sectors, it's uh, the carriers, the service providers running big networks, it's the research and education field, which are also uh, having quite big networks with lots of nodes in there. So as soon as your network grows, as soon as you have quite some nodes in your network, complexity goes up, and then service management, network automation, control plane, these are the essential components to have your network operated efficiently. Okay, Michael, thanks for providing us with an overview of network automation today. Thanks a lot. If you'd like to know more about Adver Optical Networking or its network automation, please visit www.adveroptical.com.